Anaya Banga, former Indian men's cricket coach Sanjay Banga's daughter, came out as a trans woman a while ago and has now shared her story about her hormone replacement therapy. The 23-year-old was vulnerable when sharing all the positives of her transition, the peace she feels in her body now after being assigned male at birth. During that period, the parents had named their child Aryan. However, her happiness, as seen in her social media posts, comes at a price. The price of giving up on her cricketing dream. Anaya can no longer play professional cricket. But before you think she just has to transition from men's cricket to the women's, ICC has news for you. The International Cricket Council, or ICC, basically writes the rule of cricketing world globally, has banned trans women from competing in professional cricket in 2023. The ICC said it was taking the decision to protect the integrity of international women's game and the safety of players. The board finalised the new policy after a nine-month consultation process with cricket stakeholders, with the final decision being taken by the board. And the reason behind it? Olympics. If you have followed news even remotely around the 2024 Paris Olympics, you would have come across some of the controversies surrounding boxer Imeen Khalif from Algeria. Many conservative activists rallied against her once rumours of her being a trans woman spread through the social media alleys. Now, whether we morally believe Iman Khalif has a right to fight for the medal in women's category, as for all purposes of self-identification, she is a woman. The Olympics takes biological gender pretty seriously. This is what the ICC also said back in 2023. A source at the time said that it was due to cricket's inclusion in the 2028 Olympics, quote, since cricket will be an Olympic sport, it has to be governed by the Olympic guidelines. This gender issue is a huge one at global level. The International Olympic Committee, or IOC, has changed regulations and advised sports to implement regulations that are suitable for their sport. Which is what we have done, unquote, the source has said at the time. Now coming back to Anaya. Born into a cricket family, the child of a former Indian men's cricketer and a coach no less, she was groomed in the ways of the game. She has played for Islam Jim Khana, a cricket club, and went on to play for Hinkley Cricket Club in Leicester before her transition. On one hand, being in her real body and her gender has given her happiness. This is what she said, sharing her transition this month. Quote, Losing strength but gaining happiness, body changing, dysphoria easing. Still a long way to go but each step feels more like me. She added trans rights flag and a heart emoji. But she also shared a vulnerable confession in August where she said, From a young age, cricket has been a part of my life. Growing up, I watched my dad with awe as he represented and coached the country. And it wasn't long before I started dreaming about following in his footsteps. The passion, the discipline and the dedication he showed to the sport were deeply inspiring to me. Cricket became my love, my ambition and my future. I've spent my entire life honing my skills, hoping that one day I would get the chance to represent my country just like him. I never thought I'd have to consider giving up the sport that has been my passion, my love and my escape. But here I am, facing a painful reality. As a trans woman on hormone replacement therapy, my body has changed drastically. I've been losing muscle mass, strength, muscle memory and athletic abilities I once relied on. The game I've loved for so long is slipping away from me. While Anaya talked about her physical problems regarding the hormonal changes, the fact remains ICC is not going to allow a trans woman to play professional cricket. For NDTV, this is Anbiti.